Joo. Niin, pet. Pet, pet, pet. Well, we just bagged a, another tail and a crow. So now we're on two tail, a uh, widgeon and a crow. To be honest, I couldn't believe that tail. It uh, came storming straight into the decoys. I just sat there with the sort of five in one, seven in one, whatever you call it, just doing a quick. And she just came round that corner and came ploughing straight in. Um, but yeah, fired the first shot, thought I'd folded it, and she sort of, I'd be interested if I got it on shot cam because she kind of folded, went down, then got back up and finished her off. But hey, it's turned out to be a good morning. We've got the hide, which is just a pole shoved into the banking on an angle with my custom made hessian netting and bought a roll of this which is four foot tall by i think it was about 50 meters it was only 30 35 pounds with postage uh from ebay i think um yeah and it's too bright when you first use it um so what i've done is you bring it out to a muddy creek like here Fetch him on, good lad. Come on. Come on. Good, 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 good. You're going your own bed with it. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Well, he definitely wasn't going anywhere. Nice drake, but still. And it's eclipsed plumage. So he's not coloured up properly, but you can see the difference with the wing, wing bars to the hen. Yeah, but he's well and truly dead as a dodo, which is a combination of the AYA Yeoman, um, which if I bought out to half and half, it was half and full. And it's not always, well, it's not recommended by me, but I shoot uh, light Game Ball Super Steel through it, uh, 32 gram falls is what I'm on today. And they definitely do the job when you're on point. The crow um, that I shot just after the teal that landed way out over the other side, you you know, be a cracking shot if you're out decoying. So, these widgeon are in good condition as well. So, it's nice to see them. It's even better to hear them. I love the sound of widgeon.